Okay, so now let's go ahead and go through our hypothesis steps uh, with the ANOVA testing method. Okay, so the first thing that we want to look at is our data type. Now, what we are interested in in this scenario is suppose that you are some traveling merchant uh, in Europe or something, you've got your cart, you go from city to city selling goods, and these are the three things that you sell. You sell fruit, you sell some spices, and you sell clothing. And you're wondering, uh, is any of these goods more profitable than the other? Like if you go to you know, a specific city, does the fruit bring in a total amount of money more, or do the spices bring in more, or does the clothing bring in more? Anyhow, we could go and we could test this at you know, a whole bunch of different, different places, and we could figure out, okay, what's the average amount of money that we get from fruit? What's the average amount that we get from spices? What's the average amount that we get from clothing? And we're trying to compare them one to another. All right, so what we're really interested in, let's put variable of interest, is money, and then we've got our grouping variable, and our grouping variable is, uh, is like product type, or yeah, we'll do product type. All right, so the data type that we have right up here is we're really interested in numerical. And it's grouped, so we can do this kind of like by categorical. Like perfect. So the populations that we're interested in, we've got three different populations. We've got the, the like, true population amount of money that you make when you sell fruit, true population amount of money, or the true, yeah, the, the true population of our spices and the clothing and the fruit for, for what we have. So our, our populations are all the fruits, all the spices, and all the clothing. And the parameters then we're interested in is the true mean amount of money that we get when we sell fruit, the true mean amount of money that we get when we sell spices, and the true mean amount of money that we get when we sell clothing. Uh, so our parameters that we're interested in, that we've actually got, are it's going to be mu1, mu2, and mu3. Okay, our assumptions, what we need to do is we'd actually, when, when we make this assumption, we need to have some sort of idea that these are going to basically be normally distributed. Uh, in order to actually check our assumptions, we need to do our experiment first. Um, now, that, that's kind of, that sounds kind of risky because maybe you do your experiment and you realize that none of these are normally distributed, and then we'd need to do a totally different type of testing. So it's good if you have some sort of like prior knowledge, uh, if these things are like roughly normally distributed, uh, so that you know when you get to actually your testing that uh, that you're actually okay. But so for our assumptions, remember there's no like central limit theorem to bail us out. Uh, they have to be approximately normal. And standard deviations uh, close enough to be equal. Okay, so once we get to that point, we're ready to make our hypothesis. And our hypothesis, we've already talked a little bit about this, uh, but the null hypothesis is that all means are the same. And the alternative is that at least one comparison is different. So 
So it doesn't mean that all of these means are different from one another. It's that when we compare fruit to spices, or maybe fruit to clothing, or maybe spices to clothing, that one of those pairwise comparisons uh, is different from the other. Once we get to that point, we are ready to say alpha. Uh, you know, a lot of times we'll do like 0.05, but maybe we want to be really have a bunch of evidence supporting this. Maybe we set our alpha instead to 0.01. Once we get our alpha to uh, our alpha set, we're ready to establish what our testing method is. And when we know that we're doing our hypotheses like this, and when our data type is numerical by categorical, uh, it's obvious that we're going to be doing our ANOVA testing method. And once we have this stuff all set up, we're ready to run our experiment to collect our data. So we would need to you know, have, oh, I don't know, you'd have to go through your different uh, towns that you sell this through uh, to, and we'd then be able to go and measure, like, okay, how much money do we make when we sell fruit? How much money do we sell spices? How much money do we get when we sell our clothing? And we could compare them uh, to one another, and we could organize our data and do all that. Um, for our class, most of that, number seven again, is already been done for us. And then we would be ready to go on and do our test statistics and our p-values.